most hate them. Some love them. Some even eat them. It's a lot like eating a soft shell crab. It's actually pretty good. I build one. Meet la araña gigante mecánica comedora de galletas esa de Lego, or Gertrudis for short. And now, let me show you how I built it. Here were my specs. It had to have eight legs, obviously. At least four eyes. It should be able to walk forwards and backwards. Make turns. Lower itself from a string. That would be awesome. And I wanted to be able to control it wirelessly. And of course, it should eat cookies somehow. The first step was to research spiders. Then it was time to figure out how to make it walk. Wikipedia lists several leg mechanisms. Great, no need to reinvent the wheel, or the leg in this case. The goal of a mechanical leg is to convert circular motion into a curved path with a flat bottom. For half of the rotation of the crank, the foot follows a straight line parallel to the ground, and on the other half of the rotation, the foot is raised and lowered back to the starting position. This type of curve helps keep the distance from the body's center of mass to the ground constant, which results in a smooth ride. A badly designed leg mechanism would result in a wobbly walk, kind of like this. Now, how do you build that thing out of Lego? Luckily, I found a website called DIYWalkers.com with detailed instructions and even a handy walking simulator that helps LEGO builders replicate four of those walking mechanisms. The Janssen, Trotbot, Strider, and Clam. The Janssen's linkage was created by Dutch artist Theo Janssen as the main walking mechanism to propel his famous wind-driven sculptures. He calls them Strandbeesten, Dutch for beach beasts, and they move like true living organisms. According to Janssen, it took two months of straight computing power back in 1990 to come up with the right proportions of each link in order to get the ideal flat bottom. Now with simulators like this one at DIY Walkers or this one at Wolfram.com, it can be done in minutes. Next the Trotbot. This one is really funny looking, but it has two points of contact with the ground, which makes it more stable I guess. The Strider comes already as a pair of legs connected, and it looks a bit like a horse galloping. Finally, the Clan Linkage, a five-bar walking design patented in 1998 by Joseph C. Clan. Check out that perfect footpath. Nice. So which design do you think I use for my mechanical spider? Jansen, Trotbot, Strider, or Clan? You got it. The Clan design is the most spider-like of all. However, the test model was a bit too big for my liking. The big version crank had four holes, so I chose the three-hole crank. To keep all the proportions the same, I created an Excel calculator to obtain the new LEGO beam sizes. Then I plugged those values into the linkage simulator to confirm the footpath was still good. Here is what the smaller clan leg looked like using the three-hole crank. As you can see, it still had an almost identical footpath as the bigger version. This was now the perfect leg for my spider. Time to build the rest of the mechanical spider. Here's the one leg. We're gonna connect it to a second leg using a large gear. And we're gonna make sure that the cranks are offset by 180 degrees. So when one leg rises, the other one lowers and we can get the walking mechanism in place. The next step is going to install one of the two motors. And this motor is going to be attached to the big gear with the smaller gear so we can have a good reduction and plenty of torque. Now we install uh, the other two legs and this creates a set of four legs. And we're gonna test them. And you can see the four legs in motion. And then we're gonna replicate this set with another set, identical set, so we can have eight legs. We can connect them uh, motor to motor. And we're gonna reinforce the bottom of the spider with a couple of large beams. And we're gonna test now if we can walk backwards forwards and make turns and this is the base of the spider so now we can add all the other accessories the winch where we're going to uh, spool all the string 
we're going to install it now at the back of the spider we have the cookie eating rollers and the fangs that are going to be moving up and down when the rollers are activated we attach the rollers now and secure them in place with a few lego beams the same thing for the winch and now we add some cross beams to reinforce the entire top of the spider and we're going to create a cover for the spider and also a set of four eyes googly eyes that i got at the dollar store and even eyebrows we attach them to the cover and we're going to now have the movable fangs are going to be attached to the cover as well we installed that on top of the spider and we pretty much have the spider except we need to put a cover on the back of course add the grumo sticker nice this spider is ready to go Let's start testing Gertrude's cookie hunting abilities. I put some delicious cookies on a plate. Soon, our hungry cookie spider carefully lowers herself near the plate. She approaches slowly. Those cookies look so yummy. Suddenly, a mysterious hand appears from nowhere and feeds her a cookie. With her prey tightly secure inside her spinning teeth, she backs up and retrieves back into the darkness, where she will spend the night munching on her coveted meal. It's time to release her into the wild. Do you want to build your own mechanical Lego spider? Check the link in the description for the building instructions. And if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ha <laughs> ha!